Welcome back to Fields and Skylines. Let's play Farming Simulator 22, The White Farm. So, we are still in March. Um, just a quick recap, we got that field planted and we mowed some grass. Both of our, new, our grass fields, our new grass field and our older grass field. And we planted some sunflowers. Um, we need to fertilize and roll that sunflower field before we move into April. Well, we don't need to fertilize it, but we definitely need to roll it. Um, so I'm gonna rent the roller. And then it shows that weeds are already growing, so I'm gonna rent the sprayer as well. And what I think I'm gonna do is uh, spray it right away, not wait a month, and see kind of what happens. Um, see if that's gonna work. You gotta keep the sprayer for the next month anyways. And then also, uh, I found a trailer that I think could work for our jam selling. Um, it's definitely bigger than this trailer, um, probably twice as big as that trailer, I think. It's $8,500 in the store. Um, I don't think it is, nope, nothing's there. Um, so yeah, so I think that'll help us be able to take way more goods to market, but I think what we're going to do here now is I'm going to go get the roller and the sprayer and um, use a AI driver to take one of our tractors up there. Um, he's This tractor is going to get the roller. Um, that way I don't have to hook a sensor onto him, which is fine. I do have a sensor there, but I'm going to have the AI driver. They came on up. I want to try to get through this month as fast as possible so we can get into April and get cultivating and planting on those fields um, as well. So hopefully this episode won't get too long. Um, but again, at the end of the day, it's all work that needs to get done. And it will hopefully be fun. Um, so let's get this worker. Uh, wow, that is not very close now, is it? Right <clears throat> there. Pop into old red. And get him up to get a sprayer. But yeah, I definitely want to roll the field. I want to spray the field. <clears throat> and then I want to probably fertilize. And then we still have to line and fertilize our grass fields but we don't again don't have to do that this month um and honestly i might just fertilize and um and line them offline just or off video um, unless i use like slurry or um, manure which we haven't done a lot of maybe then i would video it but i think i'm going to use manure on that small field and manure and slurry on some of our other fields that we plant in tomorrow show some or in, not tomorrow but in April um, show some of that yes we will be leasing our roller we will be leasing our sprayer and then I can show you the trailer I think we might buy next month or maybe we'll buy it after well I don't know buying it after we sell all of our jam it's kind of counterproductive because we really want it for the jam. Leasing it wouldn't make sense. I mean, it's only $8,500. It's not that pricey. All right, so we're all here. Um, so let's go ahead, take a look. So we want to get a sprayer and a roller. So I want to get the roller first because I want to get... Um, I want to get that started right right away. So, um, twenty two thousand dollar lease. We're gonna keep it for a couple months. So that's all right. I'm gonna hop out, jump in the deer, and um, get him headed back to the farm.
we will buy a roller someday. Um, it's a handy tool just to own. Uh, but for now, the cost of leasing is a little bit better for our budget. So let's get a, a worker, bringing him right about to there. Not able to get there. Um, can you get him like right there? Nope. Can you get him right here? I guess we can get him there. All right. So now let's get the sprayer. This is going to be the more costly um, of the two. This is plenty big enough. We want the weed spot spraying. And let's go ahead and lease it for $3,748. Uh, and then it's another $735 per work day. So I think uh, we're in pretty good shape. We'll keep that overnight as well. Just so when we plant in next month, or keep it over a month. So. I keep saying overnight the next day, but um, it's months. Every day is a month, I guess. So, not to be too confusing. So, I'm going to start driving back. You know, I could use up the rest of our liquid fur, but I could do that tomorrow too on a different field. I really want to shift some of that muck. Alright, so our worker is there. I am going to AI this guy uh, up to here. I want to get him out of the road so my worker is not blocked. Start up roll, holding. And here we go. So we'll roll this out. You know, maybe two, three passes, not too much. And what I think I'll do is a quick time lapse of rolling this field, uh, spraying it for weeds, and fertilizing it. So I will see you guys when we're done with all that.
All right, so I think I will be jumping in the next day. I don't know why I cannot get the seed thing close enough to trigger the refill on my seed pile here. Oh, there we go. Basically just have to ram it right in there. All right, so I'm gonna refill the cedar. Then I'm gonna jump into um, April. Uh, I'll have a worker do the fertilization with the muck on our grass field and I will start planting the sunflower seeds and then we will get to work on our cornfield. So I will see you guys, see you all in April. All right, we are in April. It's seven o'clock. Uh, I limed everything off camera. So we are ready to start planting. Um, if we take a look, we have 17. That's gonna get corn. And we have three that's gonna get soybeans. Um, if we look at pH level, apparently this is good and that's good. What it should be like. Um, don't know why this is black. I don't know if we lost our information on it. So let's go ahead and purchase it again. There we go. I was having trouble doing anything on it. So somehow we must have lost information. I still have information on everything else though. So I don't know why that happened. Um, so that was an expenditure I wasn't expecting. But the rest of this month we're gonna plant. Um, we're probably gonna need to feed the cows some food. We're gonna need to feed the chickens, sell eggs, sell milk. Um, Maybe sell jam. I think jam's May though. Yeah, jam's May. So for the rest of this episode, I think what we're gonna do is just get stuff planted and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna get a worker doing some cultivating. Uh, we have to cultivate where we're putting corn. So I'm going to set a worker off to start doing it. Um, I am not going to do a headland for the worker. I'm going to let the worker go, which might be a mistake. Probably is a mistake. Um, I mean, the worst thing I could do is put my grass. But. So yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we'll set off up here to cultivate. I definitely want to get the corner. Oh. And then what I'll do is I'll jump in red and red's gonna do our soybean plant. I just need to get this started straight. And for some reason, nothing is working well today with this tractor, which is why I wasn't going to do the planting with it. All right, there we are. I guess this will have to do. So we're going to set the worker off. I don't know why he turned that on for cultivating. Um, let's go ahead and jump in the red case and start our soybean drilling so and then once these soybeans are in we'll roll um we'll probably let the green tractor do the horn and then we can roll that so let's go Get in position. All right, lower turn sensor on. Lower. Oh, what do we have? 
Barley. Good. We want soybean. There we are. Uh, go. That would have been costly or confusing. So here we are. We're going to plant soybeans. Um, and we'll roll this field. And we'll probably have to fertilize it. We'll have to uh, put weed stuff on it. Uh, but like I said, we have a lot of stuff to sell as well. The milk, the eggs. Next month we're selling jam. I'll probably buy that new trailer next month. Uh, just because. Get a couple headlands here. And then maybe I'll start a worker on this just to get like eggs off selling or at least take into where they need to be sold and whatnot. But really what I want to do is focus on the planting with what you all get to see, because you don't get to see a lot of planting um, cycle because you just do it, we just do it once per year, and it just grows. And you get to see a lot of grass mowing, you get to see a lot of um, selling. So I'm trying to focus here on this stuff. Uh, This field's a little larger, so it's going to take a little bit of time. And we'll have to check in from time to time on our worker, see how he's getting off. I'm sure he'll probably just cultivate the one section, and we'll have to set the worker off to cultivate the other section. But I think two or three headlands on this field should be good enough to get a worker working on it all right. So that's our goal is to get there before the cultivator's done. And then, of course, we'll come in here and we'll spray and roll and get that stuff then returned up to up to the shop. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever seen the field reports from Precision Farming just kind of disappear like that and force you to have to repurchase. Uh, that was pretty much new to me. All right, pass number two. With this being soybean, it's not really, it can be planted with a planter as well as a cedar, which is, makes soybeans interesting. Um, I'm not sure why soybeans is a crop that you can do that with, but other crops you really can't. I mean, usually roll crops, corn, or sunflowers, or whatever, are planted in rows where soybeans, like, I guess they don't have to be, they're planted with a roller, but it works that way, too. I don't know. I don't know. So if you know the answer to that, please let me know down below in the comments. That would be very interesting to learn about. I think I am going to jump into a time lapse here. Um, I will see you once this field is planted.
so soybeans are planted. Now we are going to start getting corn in. Uh, I will be checking in from time to time on the other tractor uh, with the rowing. I know we've had a lot of time lapse in this one. We're going to have more time lapse. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's what this episode is. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the planting and the drilling. Right now we got the corn. Let's take a quick look here. Well, that's risky to do without a worker, but I think we'll be all right. So if we take a look here, it should pop over, show us that it's soybeans. Uh, also that we have a little bit of corn um, so we're in good shape. We are driving off. That was what I was a little bit worried about. But we can recover. I drove our truck to sell some eggs. Then I then had it go up to the shop. We are going to buy a trailer. We have a bunch of strawberry jam we need to load up. I want to get that kind of done so that stuff's out of the way. I am not going to sell the other trailer yet. Um, might be able to use the other trailer with the eggs if we ever get to a point of where we're getting, you know, two full pallets or even more than that worth of eggs per month. And I think we will as our little chicks start becoming older and they're all able to produce eggs. Um, so yeah. I think I'll leave a little trailer for that, and then we'll have a big trailer. I just gotta find a spot somewhere on the farm. Keep the big trailer. Um, running out of space. It's a good problem to have. But we'll figure it out. Um, could be just as simple as keeping it down next to the animal trailer. I don't go in that door over by that pen very much anyways. So yeah. So I think I am going to get all the way down to the end, do a headland back and forth, and then put a, a worker on here to get this planting done. Then I'll look over and see how the rolling's going. And then maybe, uh, Yeah, we'll do a time lapse, get that rolling done, and maybe even fertilize some items, some fields. So, again, sorry for all the time lapse in this episode, but it's kind of the, the way this one is going. So, see you. I'll see you in a bit.
So this planting is taking some time. I don't know if we'll get it finished before the end of the episode. Um, but I've been doing... The rolling is done on the other field, and now we're slurring it. So I think once I get this guy back in position here, or I'll just, you know, I'll just set up a worker. We'll let this worker continue. This field's getting planted oddly. But one thing I'm learning is I think I need a bigger planter, or at least one that holds more s seeds. So, um, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the slurring. Um, Go ahead and fold the slurry up. Let's go reload it. I don't know if I'll have enough slurry, um, but I can buy more if needed to finish off this field. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd do some slurrying on this field. We haven't slurried since that one contract, and I just thought it'd be neat that we would show it in this episode. So we'll go ahead. Um, I'll do some slurrying here to take us out of the episode to the end of the episode uh, I know there's a lot of me not talking just a lot of time lapses and whatnot um, what I'll do here though before the next episode is finish up planting the corn getting that field roll getting um, it fertilized somehow probably with solid fertilizer because we don't have enough muck to do it um, as the muck but we uh, will have enough solid fertilizer maybe I'll spray it um, since I have to keep the sprayer around another month since I noticed that the spraying I did last month had no effect so um, I resprayed some flowers and then I'll have to spray these two fields next month so yeah but I um, might have enough slurry here to get this field done. I don't know how much is left in that tank. Um, so we will uh, crack on and get this done. So thank you for watching this episode. Remember, if you are enjoying it, please subscribe if you liked this episode please hit the thumbs up and as always comment down below if you have any questions until next time have a great day